Juan felt so excited. He discovered a new productivity habit. New productivity hacks. Juan wanted to try it. And as he goes home, he felt so nervous and he felt so excited on trying it. Okay, so this is what I will do. Right here, right now, I will create a timetable. And I will write my to-do list so that I will be reminded. One felt so confident that he can overcome his honor student last week with his new productivity hack. However, one do it in the wrong way. One created a timetable and to-do list. However, his tasks are overflowing. In a single hour, he aims to hit many birds in one stone. And that makes him feel it's really, really hard. Once one saw the huge list on his task in this hour, he felt crazy. He felt demotivated. I, 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 I think this productivity hack is not for me. I, I think I should stop doing it because it, 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 it's not helping me. Oh, come on, Juan. Pedro. Pedro saves the day by tapping the hand of Juan. Juan, I know that you experienced what I experienced before. Juan, you know what is a magical word? Take one step at a time. This single phrase enlightened the young mind of one and opens a new door to him. <gasps> Take one step at a time. Let me tell you my story. So, back when I was grade 9, it is the pandemic time, that's around 2019-2020. I was grade 8 when the pandemic started and grade 9, it, our country has a lockdown. And so what we did during those time periods is that we did modular. We did not do online classes because our school is quite different and adheres to the old traditional way of teaching. So back when I was a grade 9, I discovered productivity techniques, productivity habits because grade 7, grade 8, I became with honor student but you know the feeling that you become honor student, but you do not have enough trust to your capability because you yourself do not know what you're doing and you always think that at any moment, you will be removed to that honor, honor rank. And you know what's interesting when I was grade 9 and I was searching for the study techniques, study habits, everything related about study, personal management, personal development. You know what's interesting? I felt so grateful that accidentally, I am actually doing part of self-improvement without actually realizing it. And I discovered that knowledge is important. Because once you learn something, you have new idea, you have lots of options that you can do to improve your decision making. And this is crucial. Because decision making is important in determining our destiny. Whatever we choose affects our future. So, among all the productivity hacks, this is the one thing I learned that makes me feel so grateful. That although it is hard, I learned it in the hard way. It really helped me. So the magical word that Pedro said is that take one step at a time. So whenever you are doing something, always do not ever multitask. That you are writing, then you are listening to the radio. That you are writing, you are watching the TV. When you are doing something, do your best. In the Filipino words, there's an old saying, Kung gagawa ka lang ng naman, ayusin mo na. In a similar way, whenever you do something, make it proper, make it great, 
make it presentable and always do your best to be creative, innovative, thought provoking. And all of it will only be achieved when you are in the present moment, when you are focused in the single task. Because when you multitask, your attention are diverted, and even though you focus on one thing, that loss of attention will not be enough for the creative mind to start generating interesting thoughts. Because once you start multitasking, your brain power literally, even if it's just half-half, your brain power literally just wastes around 80 to 90 percent of its potential you know the feeling one time when you study and you felt really productive that you felt that time goes by because what you're doing is what you love for example me talking i do not realize 